referee, Odette Hamilton. She will be assisted by FIFA assistant referee, Stephanie Daly Singh, Rickton Archer, and the fourth official, FIFA referee, Stephen Dwyer. The home team's lineup, Eric Edwards between the sticks, Shane Watson is uh, at left back, Gerald Neal, Joel Cunningham, the captain in the middle there on the right hand side, Rashawn Amos in the middle of the park, Marlon Martin, Jamon Shepherd, and Jaheim Thomas. And up top, Shea Smith on the left. He scored a double over Montague Bay United last time out. And Kimani Arboin with four goals on the right. Warner Brown with just the one goal beside his name will go through the middle. Yeah, 4 3 3. Marlon Martin will provide the base for the attacking thrust from Kimani Arboin, Warner Brown, and Shea Smith. Uh, those will be the main protagonists for Arnett Gardens looking to get the win here over Waterhouse. Kemar Foster in goal for Waterhouse, a back four of Nevada Blair, Keith Simpson, Elvis Wilson, and Kenny Hyde, very familiar in the middle of the park. Nicoy Christian, Devontae Walker, and possibly Denada Thomas playing centrally tonight. And up top, Andre Smith on the left, Andre Fletcher on the right. And the big man, their number nine, Javain Bryan, with six goals to his name so far this season. Well, the three names, Javon Bryan, Nicoy Christian, and Andre Fletcher, we expect him. Let's take a look at the full-time highlights of this Thursday night picture. And this was an effort that was blocked at Waterhouse. Well, they did some work in that first half. But then, against the run of play, Arne Gardens took the lead in the 10th minute. Warner Brown with a wonderful finish. Arne Gardens number nine. Just picked up on the mistake from Wilson. And it was steady for him. And the guns with the advantage. He really liked it. Then Smith falling over, went through to Arboine, and then picked up inside by Jaheim Thomas, who tried to toe poke it past Kemar Foster who got the better of him with the outstretched leg. And then this one delivered inside off the bar. Warner Brown with the header. That cannoned off the woodwork. That would have put Arnett Gardens 2-0 up. And then this effort, bang on target. Amos's hand was out. <laughs> and the referee didn't spot it. And an opportunity here for Warner. His shot was charged down. He had a decent game, you know, the striker. Playing a wonderful role through the middle. But then, chaos. Second yellow card. After being advised by her assistant. Referee, Audit Hamilton, showing Gerald Neal Jr. a second yellow. Which means that he was off for an early shower. And a confrontation with the gate. Warner Brown having to support, deciding to go himself straight to Foster. And then this one sent inside and nodded down by Malik Cockings. And then Jamon Shepard with the pullback there. And he picked up his second yellow card. And he was sent off too. There was to be one more. Of course. Shane Watson. Given his marching orders. Petulant. And uh, still, Waterhouse couldn't get by. Arne Gans with a big win in the end. Arne Gardens with 11 shots, five of which were on target. Waterhouse were yet to register a shot on target. And it committed 13 fouls and had the red cards to prove it, as well as six yellow cards. Wow, what a game that was. Waterhouse with 11 corner kicks. Arne Gardens with just two. Waterhouse with 55% of the possession. But even after all of that, they just couldn't come away with the win. Uh, Joel. 
a really good performance from you, a captain's performance from you. You limited a water house. Well, they had, didn't have a shot on target. Uh, talk me through your performance today. Well, I think it was a good performance for me and also from the entire team. I think we came out here to make a statement. We considered six goals in the last three games. I really wanted a clean sheet today. We got it with the win. I mean, I, I saw that um, even the leading goal scorer in the league, Brian, I mean, there, there was a plan for him. Every time he got the ball, the few moments that he got it, you were all quick to close him down. So it was not just you being involved, but the instruction and the leadership from you. I mean, you talk about your entire team being good. You must be disappointed, though, that you ended the game just with eight players on the park. Yeah, definitely disappointed. I know. I'm looking forward to the next game. We know it'll be short-handed, so it's really disappointing. But we're glad to show the character to finish off the game and get the three points today. So we look forward to the next game by preparing. Finally, second in the table now with this win. What does that mean for Arnett Gardens and their season? Well, it means we have a little farm going. So we have two wins straight now. We're looking forward to the next game on Sunday against Cavaliers. And we'll take it one game at a time. Well, a, a, a big performance from you, a captain performance from you. Good luck in the Thank rest you. of your encounters. Thank you very much. Do you have it, Joel Cunningham, our man of the match? Uh, really it did well today. It did a number on this man's team. There were nine shots from your team.